What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got another Swatcher review for you. So today we are talking about the latest from Holo Taco, their new Holo Barista collection. So we've got five brand new coffee inspired shades and they are in a new formula. It is called Crushed Holo. But before we get into that, if you haven't heard of Holo Taco before, they are a nail polish brand created by YouTuber Christine of Simply Nail Logical and all of their polishes are five free, meaning they're free of five of the potentially harmful ingredients that can be found found in nail polish. They are vegan, meaning they do not use any animal derived ingredients. And they're also cruelty free, meaning they do not test their products on animals. So like I said, we've got a new formula with these polishes. They're calling it a crushed hollow. Basically it's a scattered hollow formula. So it's not linear like those lines of rainbows. It's kind of scattered randomly and they're just really tiny flecks and they're really concentrated in the base. So I'm just going to dive into the swatches. Then we can talk a little bit more about pricing, availability, my thoughts on the shades. So let's just go ahead and roll the footage. So as with all of my swatch and review videos, I am using base coat underneath all of my swatches just to protect my natural nail and prevent any stains. Today it's the Orly Bonder base coat. So we'll go light to dark. This first shade is called Haute Couture and this is a really cool toned beige base that has the crushed hollow running throughout that gives it a little bit of a silvery sheen. Now you can see there's a very strong pinky undertone in this and I am very warm toned so I have a nice yellow coloring to my skin and I feel like that kind of makes this look even more pinky in comparison. So if you have a cooler undertone to your skin, it might look a little bit less pink and a little bit more gray beige on you, but I think it's a really pretty color. The crushed hollow finish is really interesting. I think you can see it a little bit better when it's dry, which is right here. And especially around where it's a little bit less in focus around my cuticle area, but it definitely has a nice subtle holographic sparkle to it. And in indirect lighting, it looks a little bit more silvery. And I got great coverage in two coats here. Next up, we have the shade Blushed Ice, and this one is described as a light blush peach shade. So you can see we definitely have that strong peachy undertone to this color. We've got that crushed hollow texture, which by the way, it definitely looks like it's almost got a bit of a sandy feel to it, but it does dry pretty smooth on the nail. And then once you apply top coat, it just feels like any other nail polish. So don't worry if you are averse to texture. But again, I got really nice coverage in two coats. I really do love how multifaceted this crushed hollow is. I think it just makes it a little bit more dimensional and really interesting to look at even in indirect lighting. I feel like it feels very layered, which I think is pretty impressive considering it's not a jelly finish or anything. So definitely like it. It's kind of funny to see shades of brown swatched on different skin tones because what looks pretty deep on somebody might end up looking really light on somebody else. And I think that this is a perfect example of that because in all of the promo pics I've seen, this looks pretty light, but I am paler than it. So it ends up actually looking like kind of a medium color on me. Moving on, we have the shade Hollow Cappuccino, and this one is described as a medium brown. Again, we've got that crushed hollow running throughout, and it is just super densely packed in there, but it's really easy to apply. It doesn't feel like you have to work to get any of those little hollow flecks in any particular spot. They smooth out really nicely on the nail. This is actually what I'm wearing in the intro and outro to this video. And I think it's a really nice medium brown color. I think this is one of those universally flattering shades. Although I personally don't really pick my nudes based off of what my undertone is. I feel like there are different undertones that suit different occasions. For me personally, being very warm toned, I. I always love going for a cool toned nude beige kind of color or cool toned nude brown when I am in the colder months and then in the warmer months for some reason I always go with the warmer undertone so don't ever feel pressured to actually match your skin's undertone because I think you'll find that you can really get away with wearing more colors than you probably think you can. <laughs> Next up we have the shade Need I Say Mocha and this one is described as a deep mocha brown and this one is 
definitely on the warmer tone. I feel like it has such a yellowy undertone to it that it almost looks a little bit greenish. And I think that might be because of the hollow pigment in there as well. Again, I was able to build up to full coverage in just two coats. I think the formula of these is really smooth. Sometimes with these polishes that look a little bit on the glittery side, I find that they can be a little bit lumpy and chunky and hard to move around on the nail, but this one does feel very smooth to apply. I think it's almost a little bit deceptive in that it looks like a full coverage glitter, but it actually applies like a regular polish. But yeah, like I said, two coat coverage on all of these. I do have short nails though. So if you have longer nails, you might need a third for some of them, but I was just really impressed with this formula. And last but definitely not least, we have the shade Espresso Your Hollow. And this one is described as a deep espresso brown shade. Of course, this is the deepest color in the collection. And we have all of that crushed hollow coming through so nicely and I think this might be my favorite of the set but that's probably just because I really can't resist a deep color especially when it has holographic pigment in it because I think there's just something about very dark shades that showcase hollow so well so this one is no exception I think it's super gorgeous I love how deep and rich it is but you can still see that it is brown although I will say in darker lighting this probably does look a little bit closer to black, but I think having the hollow in there brightens it up a lot as well. And I don't know, I just think it's a really gorgeous shade. So here are all of the colors together and you can see we have a nice range of colors from really light to deeper. I will say as a whole, they seem to skew a little bit on the cooler tone side, but like I said, I don't really feel a need to match my skin tone necessarily. I think that other undertones can complement different nail polishes in different ways. It's just interesting to see them over different skin tones. But yeah, I really enjoyed the collection. Like I said, I really liked these formulas. I thought they were so smooth and easy to apply. And like I said, on my short nails, I was able to get two coat coverage on all of them. So those are the polishes. And honestly, I really enjoyed them. I like this new formula. It feels most similar to their linear hollow formula in terms of thickness and opacity. And I personally love their linear hollow formula. So I was really happy with the way that these felt on application. I also happen to prefer a scattered hollow when it comes to holographic polishes, so really appreciated that as well. And I also think we got a nice variety of different brown shades, even for it being a fairly small collection. If you're familiar with my channel, you may have remembered that back in fall 2022, I reviewed the China Glaze I Don't Give a Sip collection, which was their coffee-inspired nail polish collection, and that was such a huge disappointment for me. But now we've got two great coffee inspired collections. We've got this Hollow Barista, and I also somewhat recently reviewed the Painted Polish, but Coffee First collection. So very happy that we're finally getting all of the coffee inspired polishes we deserve. But overall, I really enjoyed this collection, and I really hope they continue doing more colors in this finish. So all these polishes come in the usual Hollow Taco 12 milliliter bottle. It does come with a round skinny brush, and it retails on the Hollow Taco website for $14 USD per bottle. So I'm going to link that down in the description. You can check those out if you are interested. But I'm curious to hear what you all think. What do you think of the colors? What do you think of this crushed hollow finish? Which color is your favorite? Leave it all in the comments. We can chat about it. If you enjoy my swatch and review videos, please give this one a thumbs up. It lets me know I'm doing a good job. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I put out new videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. I also have my second YouTube channel, my vlog channel, where I show you a little bit more about my life outside of nail polish. And I do have have a podcast on all streaming platforms called It's All Geek to Me. It's not about nail polish, it's actually about movies, and I am currently in the process of watching Star Wars for the first time in my life, and I have to be honest, it is incredible. But that's also now on YouTube, so I'll put that up in the cards as well. And of course, a huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my royal astronomer Amanda M, as well as my cosmic admirals Rocketman's daughter, Paula, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye! Today's fun fact question comes from Patreon supporter 
Fahrenheit451. And Fahrenheit wants to know, what was your gateway polish or thing that inspired you to get deep into the nail polish world? So I actually have two nail polish rabbit hole stories, basically. And I feel like I kind of interchange picking which one it is based on what I'm being asked because they both happened over the course of the same summer. One of them was more specifically getting into nail art and one of them was more specifically getting into nail polish. And I genuinely don't remember which came first. Prior to maybe being 18-ish, I really only wore black nail polish. And then I remember one summer I was super bored and I was looking up fun things to do when you're bored. One of the things that came up was water marbling. And at the time I didn't have any crazy nail polish color. So I went to the store, I picked out five bottles of OPI, which was actually fairly expensive for not even being into the hobby. But I did that because I was just so convinced that this was going to be my big thing. And I went home, I water marbled my nails. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And then I immediately fell into nail art and wanted to do it all the time. My story for, I guess that must have happened first. And then after I started getting into non-cream finishes, because for my water marbling phase and my nail art phase, it was all cream finish. But then I have another story, which is that I was going to a party at a place called the Glitter Factory and I wanted really cool glittery nails. And I didn't own any glittery nail polish. So I went to CVS. I got Sinful Colors Nail Junkie, which is a super sparkly turquoise polish. Everybody was complimenting me on my nails at the party that night and I absolutely loved it. So then that became my thing. Every time I went out, I wanted to buy a new nail polish bottle. I didn't go out very often. It wasn't that expensive. But yeah, I feel like between those two things, I ended up building my collection up pretty quickly and then it was all just down the rabbit hole from there. So yeah, I guess I, I usually tell people my gateway polish was Sinful Colors Nail Junkie, but my gateway nail art was water marbling, which weirdly enough, I haven't done in like five or six years. And I keep on saying that I need to try it again, but I'm so intimidated by it now, which is ironic because it's the first type of nail art I've ever done. But yeah, now I'm just nervous. <laughs> if you want to leave what your gateway nail polish was in the comments, let me know. We can chat about it and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.